So how is God calling us to be a Christ-centered church that is missionary and evangelizing? In our journey towards the Plenary Council in 2020, we're moving from a first moment of listening and dialogue aimed at identifying areas of interest for the church in Australia to discerning how exactly we deal with them. That is why this second stage is called precisely that, listening and discerning. We continue to listen, which will always be at the heart of the process, but now things need to take shape, and how that happens continues to involve all of us. Amongst the 220,000 people who participated in the first stage, the listening and dialogue process, this is one of the six themes that emerged. That means that the data collected from all across Australia, including our Archdiocese of Brisbane, identified the need to reach out and communicate more effectively to the world we live in and to find new ways of living and proclaiming the gospel in Australia today. The word evangelization means sharing good news that others have a need and perhaps even a right to hear. So this theme is about finding ways of doing that. The voices naming this theme share a passion for participating in the missionary nature of the church, which we cannot forget exists to evangelize. They showed a desire for stronger support, involvement, and formation among all the baptized who make up the church we belong to. So the areas we need to think about here include strengthening leadership and ministries in parishes and schools, training to equip leaders for ministry, pastoral support for various individuals and groups within parish and faith communities who are already trying to open new paths, and a desire for a unified voice in engaging social issues such as the dignity of human life and religious freedom. So why don't you consider taking part in a listening and discernment experience, and through that process of communal dialogue explore how God is calling us now to be a Christ-centered church that is missionary and evangelizing. No one can substitute anyone else's voice. The Spirit blows where she will and gives light through each and every person of the people of God. And this is where our journey becomes concrete and potentially fruitful. So the Brisbane Archdiocese invites you to be an active voice.